Greetings, what's going on everyone? Z-Man the Tech here. I want to thank you once again for tuning in to Snowy Games. Uh, today, we're actually going to be taking a look at uh, one of my favorite indie titles uh, as far as the uh, puzzle um, slash free roam adventure genre. Uh, it's actually Pan Pan, uh, developed by Spellcraft. And uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and do a playthrough of it. Um, I spent a lot of time with this game and uh, uh, actually more time than I expected I would. Uh, beautiful game. Um, and the soundtrack also is really wonderful. Alright, so what we'll do is uh, yeah, I'm going to actually delete this file and we're going to start fresh. Okay. And we will consider this a legit walkthrough now that I know uh, exactly what needs to be done uh, so just fair warning a spoiler alert <laughs> uh, we're gonna be going exactly all the way through this as far as what needs to be done to complete the game so to actually start we're gonna need to tap the A button here there we go. and I'm wondering you know is it is it my fault that I crashed <laughs> Because had I not have pressed the A button, probably would have just kept floating. Right. Also, um, I'm not really sure what these areas would be categorized as, so I will just go based off description, and uh, I will be ba basically uh, setting up some timestamps um, if there is a specific area that had you uh, stumped for a while, you can just cut to it. That way you don't um, spoil yourself through the rest of the experience, because uh, apparently this game can be beaten within 30 minutes or so. Um, but uh, based off how unique and uh, <laughs> obscure some of these puzzles can be, it, it definitely could take a little bit longer, at least a few hours or so. But we're going to go ahead and get right into it here. And again, really wonderful sound design. Um, art design is nice and smooth, simple, uh, but clean and smooth. Um, and I like that a lot. So basically you'll find, uh, you of course are moving with the left stick. Right stick is your camera control. You can actually zoom in with up or down, well, down to zoom out. And these little areas here are your save points. Okay. Depending on how much time you invest, uh, just like any other game, you, you want to save as much as possible. <laughs> Alright, so you notice here, can't do anything with that yet. And, you know, the cool thing about this game is that, uh, like some other indie titles that I've played, it's pretty much um, the narrative is driven by exploration and there isn't really any um, dialogue so pretty neat to be able to accomplish that okay so what we're gonna do is actually head up to well you'll figure out what that's for in a little bit here we actually are gonna need that stick um, but in order to get it, we're going to need to go up those stairs and get a blue power cell that you won't be able to bring down here until a little bit. So, um, let's see here. Yeah, we don't want to go that way yet. We're going to go through this little wooded crevice area, and we're going to end up in the desert. It's another save point if you choose to use it. We're going to keep it going here, under the bridge. Okay, you'll notice that there is a, uh, a native trapped in this uh, shed-like space. We're going to be able to break him out of there, or her. <laughs> Haven't quite figured that out yet. Okay. okay. So, and this in turn is going to be uh, used for something as well. Can't quite use it just yet. 
So we're going to come down here, use this ladder, spin your camera so you can see a little bit. Alright. Zoom that in. We'll give it a little... Actually, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and save while we have a moment. I love how it's just nice and quick. Just gets the job done. Okay. We'll take this energy cell. Put it here. Now these are more of the conductors. They can't do much by themselves. But once you put the source down... Well, it's pretty much self-explanatory. <laughs> Get that open. Take this guy. Uh, this is really just for the checkpoint, so uh, for the sake of putting it down quickly, we'll leave it there. Oh, you know what? Did that wrong. There we go. Need to keep that open first. Set it there. This section of the puzzles is pretty self-explanatory, so not too bad there. Okay, so once again, like I said, you don't really need the power cell for the save area unless you absolutely want to go ahead and do that. Like I said, I'm a, a firm believer of making good use of that save feature. Okay. Alright, so... Now, what we'll take note of here is the numbering convention of these uh, purple pillars. Because that's going to be needed for the next section here. Um, I basically already have that mapped out, but, uh, just wanted to go ahead and show, uh, where this is actually going to be coming from instead of me just running into it. <laughs> so. Oops. Yeah. Didn't mean to do it twice there, but. Alright. So. Well, I have it at the bottom. Well, top is a three, so we'll go ahead and put that one there first. Okay, we'll call this the purple, the numbered purple pillar puzzle. We'll call it that. <laughs> All right. So bottom left is a three. Okay. Top left is a two. Bottom right is a two. Then we have top right is a one. And that last one, we're actually going to use that for uh, just more of a, I guess, a pressure point to keep the door open while we make this happen. Okay, now this in turn is going to be the third conductor cell that's needed to go ahead and get this operational here. I'm just going to go ahead and set this here. Alright, and what we'll also do, because we're going to need that power cell that's holding this area open, we're done with that area, so this is where we're going to use this to hold the door open and start grabbing the power cells we need here. OK. 
Okay. All right. Almost forgot that one was over there. <laughs> All right. So we've just now activated this little robot that was basically on a charger. <laughs> So he's going to go through uh, quite a few um, of areas here. You let him do his thing. Now, we're actually going to need this power cell that activated him, since he's not going to be coming back to this area. Okay. It's going to take a while for him to go ahead and dig through there. So, like a long while. <laughs> We're gonna need to go handle some things while this goes into effect here. So, boom. Okay, now that that's activated, we'll go ahead and take this with us. This is an area that we're not going to really, we can't do anything with it until we get a certain point into the game. So don't worry about this area. Zoom on out. Alright, we're taking it on back. We can use this here. I'm not really sure. I have to double check that. No, I don't think so. Okay. There we go. We'll go ahead and set that there. It's still gonna be a minute before we do this part coming up. So we'll go ahead and save here. Right. And now we're gonna go ahead and access, let's see here. I don't think we're quite doing the eye puzzle just yet. But there is an eye puzzle that we're gonna need to go do. Stuck there. All right. <laughs> All right. So this one is basically uh, there's going to be some symbols with some uh, certain types of rocks that we're going to need to match up. Um, for the sake of uh, showing how I got these answers, uh, we're going to take one of these rocks one at a time to whichever area that they glow, and that's how you'll know what symbol goes where, with what color. Okay. So we have that hexagon shape for this one. Okay. I like how the music changed for this area, it's pretty nice. Okay, and we have the hourglass looking shape. Ah. We'll know the last one based off of uh, there only being one spot left. So, oh, got diamond for this one. And undoubtedly, set this one for the triangle. Whoops. On the right spot, of course. 
There we go. Okay. <laughs> now for this area, we want to make these follow us to go into this machine to power it. Wait till they grow back. Alright, and eventually what's going to happen is we're going to get a, uh, we're going to be given a container that's going to be able to hold that energy. That way we can kind of travel with it because some areas are going to have uh, extraction points that are going to need that that uh, energy that comes from those um, seeds or plants, whatever they may be. Okay. So here we are at a part where we're going to need to actually set this down because we're not going to be able to actually take it with us yet. Okay. There we go. Now our buddy should be pretty close to being done digging here. At least through this side. So now, we can go ahead and uh, take this battery on around where our friend here has dug a uh, pathway. As you can see, this is actually above the area that we were. And we're undoubtedly just going to take this right on over to that area we were before. That needed the uh, power cell to grab our stick here. Oops. There we go. All right. got our trusty stick <laughs> so we can start whacking stuff all right so I believe we want to we actually want to go ahead and do the uh, oh it's blinking never uh, noticed that before But yeah, basically you can cycle through the uh, through your bare hand or the stick at any time. Okay. And coming back over here. Is going to open up the next area. Which in fact is activated placing uh, the energy tile you get from the eye puzzle here. So, we need to go do that eye puzzle. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I can't remember if we need this or not. But we'll find out soon enough. Pretty sure something was carried over there. We'll take it just for the time being. set this down. Turn that. Okay. We've now reached the eye puzzle. <laughs> so, 
in a way, it this pattern kind of tells you how it's done. Um, I'm not going to lie, it, it took me a little bit to kind of figure out exactly what it wanted me to do. Uh, but basically, how I have it written is we're going to go right, right, all the way left, and then second to the right path. Alright, so we have right... Oh, based off that, yeah. Right again. You know what? It doesn't look the same as when I did it before. All the way left. Second to the right. Oh, it worked. Okay. I said I could be wrong. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? I'm jumping the gun here. I'm supposed to be bringing an eye over here. But at least this part's already open. So. Seems I skipped this set, uh, step, sadly. <laughs> That being said, I kind of want to see if this is what I need to open this area. It does not go there. I could have sworn there was something I need to bring over there. that for a while but I do know there's an area that th that needs to be tended to so we will go to the desert because we now have the stick we need that container to start harvesting that energy so we're gonna we're gonna help our native friend get out of this little jam here Oops, <laughs> as I hit him, okay. Did not mean to do that. Oh, I know what it is, I know what it is. The eye pillar is part of a, a, a different puzzle that we now have to solve with uh, the energy in this tube to get water running. Okay, that's what it was. You know, I skipped a step somehow. Or just jump the gun, I, I guess you can say. <laughs> Alright, so it's actually here. Um, yeah, you can see it right up there, just kind of hanging out. You know, I actually am going to need more energy than this. Not very much at all, if you can see. <laughs> uh, cool thing is, once you switch to the stick, you start to notice that um, certain plants or vegetation will have those seeds that do give you that energy. Uh, but ultimately, for the sake of time and just the ease of being able to get it at a faster rate to fill it up, I would suggest going to that area before that had the puzzles with the symbols. Well, there do seem to be a lot around here. Yeah, we'll see what if, how many seeds we can get out of here to keep us from traveling that far. So I guess you have to factor in the distance it takes to get there, and how many of these plants 
are going to actually yield a seed to get energy from. And you can zoom in, you can kind of see where you're at on the energy. I can't remember exactly how many you can hold. I think it'll kind of flash to let you know that you can't hold any more energy or that you're maxed out, basically. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few here. So yeah, it's up to you as far as how fast or where you want to get the energy from. Just thought I should note that this technically would be faster. Okay, stop trying to whack it. Super amounts of energy. I got I got some left over as well, which is good. Actually, I don't know, based off time that I wasted going to another area, eh, it's going to be a little bit over 30 minutes possibly, but yeah, no worries. I'm just kind of riding this out, going based off memory here, so I'm just enjoying the ride here. Nice, smooth, serene music to go with it. And we're just basically going to take this back through the desert, through the wooded area, and uh, to that eye puzzle that we've already done half of. Well, most of it, really. Because this is all we needed. So initially, yeah, this is what I was supposed to carry over there, not the power cell. Uh, so we shouldn't have to worry about this anymore, because the puzzle's already been completed. Walk on through. I don't think the order matters. I placed this on the right and this one on the left before. Never really swapped it, so. Okay. Okay, now we have that specific piece we needed for that robot that fell, which I feel kind of bad about. <laughs> <laughs> he was just kind of hanging out, chilling, minding his own business not powered up or I guess in a sleep state until I activated him and then he just literally worked himself to death shut up Z lame <laughs> alright so as you can see it, it will not work if you try to put it there um, I thought that's where the green would go as well but It in fact goes to our section here. Okay. Man, this soundtrack's really good. Um, it kind of reminds me of. Um, in a way, uh, it reminds me a little bit of the soundtrack from Colors In, which is also a really great uh, relaxing experience. Um, the thought of actually doing a gameplay of that one um, it would most likely be a Wii U gameplay. It would be kind of hard to, I guess, really explain without showing a video uh, because it is tablet-based. Um, so you would just really kind of see the colors coming together. But yeah. Also a really great game with really great music. Alright, so in this section, you'll notice here, it looks like something, a previous ship that uh, crash landed here um, as well. So I'm probably not the first one. But, alas, we need, uh, <laughs> we need uh, this buoy, this light buoy here. I'm going to walk it on down. I'm going to place it here. It plays a major vital role later on. <laughs> I 
All right. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, yeah, now that we've done that, we will go ahead and start filling our canister with more energy as much as we can, because we're going to need to actually use that for the area in the beginning of the game, as far as powering your ship. It's part of the, uh, one of the components needed here, so... Go ahead and dump that off while I'm here. And I'll stock up on the way back out. So that we're going to actually head back to the desert. The next time we come back, we should have enough energy to go ahead and fill that up for good. Okay. Let's make sure we don't miss anything. Okay, yeah, so we're going to need to go back to the desert, grab a, a uh, vase. And uh, what that water source is, we're going to actually fill that up with, uh, fill that vase up with some water. And not too far from where we uh, helped our native friend uh, come out of that uh, trapped situation, uh, there is a spiral rock formation with a tree atop. And um, basically, yeah, we need to go ahead and try to help that tree grow and some of this water here. Okay, looks like that's going to be enough that as far as what'll fit in there. Close under the under the uh, as closest to the roots as you can there, I guess you can say. We get our stick, whack that sucker. And then you might ask, Z-Man, why are we doing this? Well, trust me, there's a reason. <laughs> there's always a reason. All right, so what we'll do. Whack that sucker. We get that fruit. One would think it would be for survival, but uh, <laughs> it seems this protagonist isn't really concerned with that. It's more so, really, the premise of the game is to uh, find all the parts you need to repair your ship so you can um, head back out. So, you know, coming here really wasn't... Uh, <laughs> wasn't really part of the plan, so. Okay. I'm just trying to remember correctly where this, uh, oh, you know what? I'm going too far. I think it was slightly above that spiral tree. This is where we need to go. Let me see. I could be wrong. Nope, this is it. So, this is another part that I'm really weird about. <laughs> but basically, you have to, um, now that we have the stick, you basically kind of have to uh, whack this mother bird. It's like, this is her nest, this is her domain. But, s sadly enough, these, uh, these switches need to be pressed uh, to get that gate down. So you're not really, you're not gonna harm the eggs, even if it may be possible. I have no idea. It's just that's not really the intent. Oh, okay, yeah. So you can't anyway. Okay, so place the egg. You may need to stun her again. Come on, up there. Because okay. when she wakes up, she's like, "Oh my babies." So the last spot, you just need to step on it yourself. And she should be waking up soon, but it doesn't matter at this point. Once the gate's open, it's open. Okay. So she's <laughs> furious right now, trying to make sure her babies are okay. 
Alright. So now we need just to activate this so our bridge will go across. And we can take our our fruit to the next location. <laughs> Which oddly enough is uh, I guess more or less a sacrifice <laughs> to this, this beast. This frog like beast. I don't know. It's it's just very hungry and wants to eat, so it'll at that point get out of your way. But if you it's funny because if you approach it without the sacrificial fruit, <laughs> as we're gonna call it, <laughs> if you approach it without that, yeah, she growls at you and whatnot. Didn't think there'd be anything in there, but I thought I'd look. Am I all out of energy? Yeah, I'm supposed to grab some on the way. I gotta make sure to do that. Okay. Now for this area, see some little grub grub worms type uh, creature. We just need one of these little crab guys, crab baby things <laughs> that tries to run away from you. I'll go ahead and put them in this little crevice here, and they should run on in. Come on. I, I have to, you have to step away, I think. We're, we're going to save here, actually. We're going to save. So I think I did that wrong. So. Oop. I did not mean to step on it. Come here. Oh, you know what? Maybe you need to grab one of these little guys. I think they eat them. Nope. They just burrow. I didn't step on it. Okay. I feel better now. As close as you can to this area. I guess you need to kind of... Yeah, you got to scare it in there. Get your butt in there. Right. Okay, now we can access the area with uh, the bars. Okay. So this could be a little frustrating. I don't think that's a... You know what? I don't think that's a native, because I was trying to figure that out last time I played. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that might be the other traveler that had a messed up ship. So I really feel bad then, because unless they plan on staying here, I basically took took that, that light buoy, <laughs> or energy cell, whatever that might have been, uh, for my ship. But yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out, hopefully. Um, okay, so, this one's here. So I believe I have this at left up, second right. Third right, fourth right, okay. Uh, as far as getting these. You gotta zoom out so you can see where they're at because that's pretty pivotal to this puzzle here. Because basically if you hit any, if you or the, the person mirroring you hits a circle, it's over. I did. Okay. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Been a, been a minute since I've done this, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, and they run off. Now that the puzzle's done, don't worry about hitting anything. It's pretty much good to go. Yeah, we've we've already passed 30 minutes, but it's cool. No worries. <laughs> like I said, just just along the joy of the ride here. Enjoy the ride. Sorry. Uh, actually, I didn't I didn't attack any of that stuff before. I think you just got to go pretty much straight to the uh, go as deep as you can into the wooded area 
There should be like a yeah, like a TV type area. It kind of tells you too. It like hovers. <laughs> Sadly, uh, that that one's not very hard to figure out. <laughs> like, all right, you found me. You solved my puzzle. I'll go ahead and give you this jetpack thing. Yeah. All right. Let's get it moving. All right. So now at this point, basically your main action button is going to be A throughout this whole experience. So whenever you see like an indication of something that needs to be done, that's pretty much what it's referring to, which is nice. Simplicity is key. Okay. So we take this green doohickey <laughs> off of here. But then you're like, how will I get across? And then yeah, it's already explained within about, I don't know, three seconds. All right, so I'm trying to find the quickest way back. Uh, should I take... Eh, nah, we do need to go back to the very beginning, so... I, I don't think it really matters at this point. No, it does. Yeah, going through the wooded area is the quickest way. That would have been a bit longer. It would have had to, yeah, it would have had to come downstairs and all that stuff. It wouldn't have worked. Okay. So we're just going to track this all the way back. There. Okay. Now, what I should have done was gathered energy for this. Um, so the closest, I'm going to switch my stick, and the closest area that I was able to find some would be over here. Because uh, I believe these, once you attack them, yeah. They kind of make you chase them a little bit, but, uh, yeah. But like I said, eh, it's still a bit longer than I would like for them to re refresh. So, we will, um, we're actually going to cut through to over here. I'm trying to think where else we need to go after this, the TP. spot head to the broken tower okay yeah so we're yeah we're actually not too far off from finishing this up oh actually you know now that I <laughs> like I said I took I spent a lot of time uh, with this game trying to figure this stuff out initially and um, I don't know I just now that I know, I mean, the game can really be beaten within about 30 minutes or a little bit over that for sure. Um, I kind of wish it was a little longer, um, but you know, I guess based off of the uh, the learning curve and everything like that, I guess it, and the money as well. I mean, it, this is a this is one of the budget titles for about five dollars, um, and it does go on sale from time to time. Usually, it'd be like a dollar off or so. Um, but yeah, it, it's definitely it's definitely still worth. Um, the value I feel uh, for the nice soundtrack, the uh, the beautiful but simplistic art design. Um, uh, it's smooth, plays very well. It's definitely a nice little uh, nice little uh, deal to pass time here. And I guess the replayability of it would be, you know, once you know where everything is at fully, you can kind of, you know, basically uh, try to speed run it, I guess. <laughs> Aside from the cutscenes uh, that do take a moment to kind of go through. It's not so, so long, but in terms of speed running, it would probably slow you down a little bit. So I, I'm not sure if you can skip them. Okay, so I'm just going to finish filling that up. So yeah, we're good to go on energy for that. Um, see if I have any left. I don't, yeah, I got plenty. I don't think you're going to need much after this point. Um, but yeah. So 
what's going to happen here is let's see the tower yeah that's that's fair so we'll float on over here let's see come on where am i at i can get to the ladder it's the only part that i don't like about this Yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> Took a second, but I got there. Okay, so if I remember correctly, you hit this about five times. Okay, that's all you need to do with that. Come on down. And the way that Bob Barker did it. No one can emulate that. Let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> Alright. So. What we need to do. Is go ahead and call the elevator over here. Or. Scaffold. Whatever. Okay. I don't recall if I need this. No. It doesn't do anything on that side. So. This is our light buoy. We're gonna go ahead and I'm it's, I'm probably really butchering what this is supposed to be, but <laughs> that's what I call it. That's why I remember it as. But we're gonna go ahead and take that over here. Also, one of the major components of this ship, and that goes right here. I'm really liking this music. Okay. Float on over there. Float on over here. Alright. And for this little... We're going we're gonna to wait it out here. Because what's, what's going to happen is there's going to be uh, what looks to be like a little fish. Or like a mini submarine kind of thing. Um, is actually the last and f you know the the final piece that we need. And we can get off this rock. Boom. Before we grab it, we need to go ahead and activate this scaffold to get back across here. It was really fast that time. Okay. I, I guess we can save for me. It <laughs> doesn't really matter at this point. Interesting ship too. Kind of has like a a blimp thing going. I don't know. <laughs> it's very blimp esque. But yeah, in a nutshell, that's it. You get the thank you for playing Pan Pan deal. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, well, like I said, it, I spent a l it. It really took a long time to figure out what the heck to do. Like, I literally stepped away from the game for a while out of frustration. Um, and I, you know, I went, you know, looked up some uh, some walkthroughs and checked out some other vids and stuff like that, as far as certain puzzles. Um, but yeah, it, it's definitely a nice experience. Oh, and music audio, kudos to Simon Vicklin. Um, 
definitely look him up if you haven't heard of him. Um, me being uh, a digital music composer, arranger myself, uh, I, I really do admire uh, other other um, artists and their craft when it comes to the music they put out. So um, definitely, oh, little babies, they hatched. Oh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely uh, admire and support um, other you know, musicians and composers and digital arrangers like myself. Um, so yeah, Simon Vigland. Um, again, kudos to you on the soundtrack and sound design. Um, see, that's 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 what gave me the uh, inclination that that um, that uh, green clothed um, person was the other adventurer that that ship that's the ship uh, that belonged to him or I could be reading into it totally wrong but uh, I mean <laughs> without any dialogue and puzzle driven narrative um, I don't know I guess it's to remain a mystery but yeah we have reached the end of Pan Pan um, hope you enjoyed it uh, I, I enjoyed this little game definitely worth the five dollars or less if you got it on sale um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate the support, um, the continued support and existing. Uh, and yeah, definitely more videos to come of, uh, these wonderful indie titles that, um, that are either just a nice, serene, smooth experience or a good time passer or, uh, whatever type of genre you're into. Uh, the indie, the indie community is, is very huge and, and, and covers a vast amount of, uh, uh, genres within itself so yeah thanks again and uh yeah stay tuned for the next vid